Good morning guys, it's Maggie and I am back today. I am in the bathroom that we have been working on and it's almost done. We just have our tiling to do above our shower. But today is a special day, so I thought I would get ready with you guys. So today, my cousin is getting married actually to a friend that used to live in my neighborhood growing up. And we went to school together for a little bit. So they're getting married today. I'm so excited. I'm also nervous because of how my ostomy has been acting. I mentioned in my last video, it really feels like I'm brand new with my ostomy. And the dress that I got is beautiful. And I'll show it to you at the end of this video. But the way that my ostomy has been filling up and it fills up so fast, I've been so afraid it's going to show. Thankfully, I found a solution for that. I'm wearing my ostomy secrets underwear, um, like my high-rise ones. But my other fear about this is I'm going to be seeing a lot of family and, you know, they worry about my health. And my fear is that I'm going to be going to the bathroom a lot. So trying a few different things today to calm my stomach down. Actually yesterday was a pretty good day. My ostomy actually acted normal for like a little bit so hoping it continues into today. Anyways I need to start getting ready. I also already broke a nail this morning. I just did them yesterday. You know the fake the fake glue on nails and I snapped one in half. How do you even do that? Put all my makeup in our new, um, our new vanity, so it is very convenient and I am loving it. But I had a really nice night last night. I decided since our bathroom was all fresh and clean, I wanted to take a bath, a bubble bath, so I did that. I don't take a lot of baths because, I don't know, my ostomy sticks in the water, but it, it, it does tend to peel around the edges. I get a lot of questions about bathing and swimming. And really, the ostomy adhesive should stick in water. Um, I notice it just peels around the edge, so I don't typically like to submerge myself in water for a long time. But I was due for a bag change, wanted to do a bag change anyway to ensure that I had a really good stick for this wedding so I wouldn't have to worry about it. Because anytime your output's more watery, it tends to leak more. I kind of regretted changing it but didn't it was like it needed to be changed but that bag was sticking good it was sticking real good like i don't remember when i last changed it which you know had a nice little bubble bath i drank a lot of just herbal tea and surprisingly it did not make leroy go crazy so i will take it i feel like i got hydrated um one of the things that my dietitian is having me do or try out is taking apple cider vinegar before I eat. I think there's concern, and I've talked to my GI about this, um, about me potentially having small intestinal, what is it? Bacterial overgrowth. That's right, SIBO. And, you know, I've had some reflux problems, so on and off I take pantoprazole, and that can actually not help if you have the small bowel overgrowth because it reduces the amount of acid, which is kind of what keeps that in check. At least that's my understanding of it. So, we're trying this out, seeing if actually adding in a little bit more acid is helpful. And so far, I don't notice anything different, but I also am able to, you know, drink a tablespoon in the water before I eat totally fine doesn't burn or anything so i'm packing my purse full of my supplies just in case i'm gonna bring modium. i'll be honest modium has not been doing anything for me so i am happy to try whatever and the dietitian also wants me to try some other ways of hydrating that give me a little bit more nutritional value, like bone broth. And I actually really like bone broth. Um, I like making it. The problem is I forget it's in the fridge and I don't drink it. So I'm going to try just getting some at the grocery store and seeing if, you know, I'll drink that just to add something. Because the liquid IV is helping a ton, but 
The problem is everything I'm eating is just, I'm not, I'm not getting any nutrients out of it. So the hope is to maybe get a little bit more out of my food than I currently am. Maybe I should brighten my cheeks. I don't know. Let's try that. What the heck? Add a little bit over here. A little bit there. A little bit there. I love this new mirror and I will show it to you when I put my little vlog together of our bathroom renovation. I really just want to get the um, tiling done though before I show you guys. But it turned out well and you can see behind me we have a double towel rack now because we did not before. So very nice, very convenient. Well, I guess it's not a double towel rack. It's just one on top of the other. It's the best I could do in this. It's kind of a weird bathroom. It's working out well for us though. I'm really looking forward to this wedding though because I love weddings. I really do. I really, I get emotional during them. Actually the best man today, which is the brother of my cousin, so also my cousin, um, we were kind of really good buddies growing up, so my aunt, who is my mom's sister, um, these are her kids, and I would visit them at the beach in the summertime. And I remember a number of summers going to visit them and getting really sick. <laughs> like, I was in the midst of groans. I remember one time waking up in the middle of the night with the worst pain like just awful stomach pain and I thought I was gonna have to wake my aunt up and go to the hospital. Thankfully the pain passed but in the meantime while I was like struggling and in the bathroom my cousin was the one that kind of sat with me and just you know distracted me through the bathroom door. <laughs> it sounds horrible but that's that's what it was like growing up so, <laughs> so I get to see them and um, see a bunch of my other cousins. I actually have quite a large family on my mom's side. I think I have 17 or 18 cousins because my mom has, I say has, my mom was one of five. So yeah, a lot of kids. We were actually one of the smaller families with only two kids. There we go, a little bit of sun-kissedness. Uh -huh. So the wedding itself is at 2 or 2.30 and the reception doesn't start until 6 but the, the ceremony is happening about an hour away from the reception. Let's see, let's go for this pink. That did nothing. Hello, blush. Can we do something please? Not do anything? I don't know. Alright, let's seal this baby in. I normally go for, like, peachy. But I think I want to go for more of a pinky. What's the difference? I don't know. But my dress is black with magenta. So maybe more of a magenta tone. So I don't really want a peachy base. It's very scientific, if you didn't know. Feel good though. I did my apple cider vinegar thing, had something to eat, already started hydrating for the day, tried loperamide, you know, threw some of that in there too just to maybe help out and then I took my vitamin D and I'm hoping with all of this I feel pretty good today and hopefully the bowels will behave and I don't have to run to the bathroom multiple times in a row and have people question if I'm okay. Because that's really what I don't want. We also have another wedding coming up shortly that is further from home. So this will be a good test. See if I can get my body to behave. Hmm, the idea is to make it like I don't feel terrible, which I don't right now. Um, I try to explain it like people that have bouts of diarrhea, you know how they feel like exhausted after and tired and sweaty and worn out all the time. 
all the time. So when it starts up, I feel like oh, I need to sit down, you know? But I don't think people expect that because I have an ostomy. Doesn't matter to me, right? Only losing a large amount of fluid quickly. Doesn't matter. It's a lot brighter in this bathroom. I know I filmed in here before and it is a world of difference. Let's see if we can pop some eyelashes on. Now I saw, I saw these guys going around online, the Kiss Impress. Um, you know, people raving about them. They're large and they look ridiculous on my eyes. I was really hoping that if I got the natural ones, it would look fine. No, 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 they don't. So I had to, I had to trim them down. That's why there's all this lash debris. I looked stupid in them. So these go up underneath of your eye. Like that. And they already have glue on them, so it makes it a little bit easier. Okay, that's clearly not how that goes. Come here. Alright, I'm gonna get this done, and I'll come back. Because I'm getting mad at it now. It has been a struggle, but I think... I think I got them. You just really shouldn't look too close at my face because you can clearly see they're not straight. I'm gonna hope that a little mascara will hold this shindig together. I, I want to let these dry for a little bit before I do the mascara, but now I'm gonna start working on the hair. If people ever wonder why it takes so long to get ready, it's probably eyelashes. Is that a bobby pin in my hair? Yes, it is. I want to do a wavy hair ponytail. So I'm going to try that. But first I have to curl my hair and brush it. Brushing would help. That's a good first step. time on that hairstyle it was not working out okay so we're gonna do a nice little side ponytail I wrapped it with my own hair so you can't see the ponytail holder I think this is great the dress I'm wearing is a sleeveless dress I think this is perfect and say I'm really enjoying myself maybe had a cocktail or two this is easy enough to take down and dance <laughs> priorities priorities right ah got my earring also I have low hopes for my ostomy today because in the time that I've spent with you getting ready, it went from completely empty to completely full, so... <sighs> and it is straight water. Okay, let's put these earrings in. They're weird. They're really weird. There's this... I gotta get this guy off. <laughs> And then I guess this is the piece that goes through my ear. All right, I don't think I need to wear the little rubber stopper because it, it'll show. Yeah, it'll show. So I'll just put them in and hope for the best, I guess. Pretty much the only thing that I need is maybe a little bit of lipstick, but I won't put that on until, you know, we're getting ready to go, so... Ow. There you have it. So I'm going to deal with Leroy and I need to get the wedding card together and when it gets close to time to go, get the dress on. Zach's looking up this like horror convention, but we already missed it. It was last weekend apparently, but for next year. Um, and, and the band that we enjoy, we saw them when we saw Falling in Reverse, uh, Ice Nine Kills. Apparently will be there because a lot of their music is based on horror movies. So anyways, got to fill out the card. This is the lovely card that I got. Take it out of the package so you can actually see it. Can you see the card? That's the card that I got. It says wedding wishes and then on the inside, may every happiness be yours as you begin your beautiful journey together. Congratulations. Oh, I love weddings. All right, let me... 
write a little message and get this all together. You gotta sign your name. Are you done filming? No, I'm still filming. I just have oh. the camera running. Can you sign? Can you come sign your name really quick? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so used to doing sick. Oh. <laughs> I did my best. <laughs> I did my best. <laughs> what is that? And then I like this company. They're just on Amazon, but I like Papyrus. I think that's what it's called. They give you a little sticker, which apparently you can only use if you don't have fake long nails. So maybe we'll just get a piece of tape. I don't know. Perfect. All right. I think it's time to go get my dress on. Please ignore the mess in the kitchen. I'm going to back up. Oh, you can't see the bottom. Let me lower the camera. Hold on. This bench is in the way too. Hold on. It mermaids out. <laughs> and then I got this. That's a little, little shawl if it gets a little chilly in the church. can do this. Yeah, the only problem was I had to do some work on the sewing machine because this was far too long for me. But I got it at Lulu's. I'll put it somewhere below if you're interested. But I love this dress. It's gorgeous. And then... I got a little purse to match, Oop, just slid on the dress, probably could have taken a little bit more off of it, but you do this or I can tuck the strap in and just have a little clutch. Yay, I feel good. <laughs> All right guys, we have to get going pretty soon. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this morning while I got ready for this wedding. I'm so excited for my cousin and his fiance. It's gonna be a great day, but I will catch you all very soon. Bye guys.